everyone it is Danny and welcome to this updated video and so in this video we'll be taking a look at these four disturbances that are marked by the National Hurricane Center uh, but the main focus will be on that one that is highlighted in red uh, which means it has a high chance to develop and so is this going to become Tropical Storm Danielle and so we'll be talking about it and before I go into details Okay, so first things first, we're taking a look at this one that is out in the Atlantic right now. And so uh, it is designated Invest 92L. However, it doesn't seem as though we will be seeing anything really become of this area here. So the formation chance is at 10% and it is not expected to be in conducive condition. So it might dissipate uh, maybe by the next couple of days. And so going on to that area that is marked in the Caribbean. So uh, we're seeing here that there's a 20% chance that we could have development within that area. So we're not seeing an X, uh, which means that that area that has been watched has not really developed yet. And so a trough of low pressure could develop within the area and we could possibly see some development take place there. So that area will be one to watch. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at satellite imagery. And we're seeing here that there is quite a bit of uh, shower and thunderstorm activity that is taking place in sections of the Western Caribbean. And so even though there is a low chance that we could see development within the area, all this shower and thunderstorm activity that is developing could bring some increased rainfall to sections of the northwestern Caribbean. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this wave about to emerge off Africa. So it is now a marked area and we're seeing that the chance is at 30% uh, for us to possibly see something develop once the system emerges off Africa and enters that shaded region. So let's see what's going to be happening with that one if we're going to be having development. But in terms of it being a threat to land for the long run, we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening. But models are not really showing that right now. Uh, but I would say the Cabo Verde Islands will definitely be getting some increased rainfall from the system as it makes its way by. Because looking at satellite imagery right here, we see all the shower and thunderstorm activity activity that is associated with that wave. And then the main treat of this video in Vest 91 L. So the formation chance is higher than it was uh, yesterday around this time. It is now at 80% uh, for the system to possibly develop and intensify. And through the next two days, the formation chance is at 50%. And so things are not looking very good in the vicinity of the system uh, in terms of the favorability. And so we'll be taking a look at those conditions shortly. Uh, but this is expected to move on a general west, northwestward to northwestward track. And it could make its way north of the Lesser Antilles. Uh, but if it is producing enough shower and thunderstorm activity and it is not very organized, it could bring maybe some rainfall to those areas, but nothing significant expected. And so in terms of it, possibly heading to the Bahamas and Florida only time will tell what is going to be happening but models have been trending into this making its way up to the northwest and then making a curve back out into the open ocean not making its way into uh florida or even really affecting the bahamas but as i said only time will tell we'll have to wait and see what is going to be happening but we could possibly see a tropical depression from the system maybe by the midweek so let's look at it on satellite right now and so we're seeing that it's not looking too good uh we do have all those disorganized showers and thunderstorms but overall uh we're not really seeing it consolidating and becoming something significant out there but the formation chance is high so let's see what's going to be happening with it and then now let's go ahead and move on to the favorability out there so looking at the dry air map and we are seeing that we have some saharan dust that is noted in the vicinity of 91 L. And this is going to be a problem for it because the main inhibiting factor of development throughout the season has been the dry air. And now that we have something out there, we have some dry air that it is going to have to combat in order to uh, really get itself together. So conditions are not the most favorable. And that explains the decrease in shower and thunderstorm activity. And if the system was moving more on a westward track and maybe headed to the Caribbean, maybe there would be a better chance, uh, a better probability of a 
us see in a tropical storm become of this system here but it is going to be moving to the northwest and not expected to enter the area but uh just off africa we are seeing that we have all that shower and thunderstorm activity associated with that wave that is about to emerge and uh we can tell that there is a lot of activity there and not a lot of saharan dust and so once we have these systems making their way into all that dry air we typically have a reduction in the shower and thunderstorm activity but uh over for the caribbean we're seeing that dry air is not really a problem uh it is actually scarce in the caribbean and that is what is allowing for the development of those showers and thunderstorms that i showed you guys so we'll have to watch that little area in the caribbean and see what's going to be happening with it throughout this week but of course the only system that has the best chance of developing is 91 l and so now taking a look at the wind shear we're seeing here that uh the different colors they indicate the favorability of the shear green means favorable yellow means neutral and red means unfavorable so 91 l is located right within that area where you're seeing those whites uh that's indicating all that shower and thunderstorm activity associated with the disturbance so it's entering that unfavorable shear as well so these unfavorable conditions are really just getting in place and they will be a problem uh, for the system we might not see anything very major become of the system once it is going to be out there in those unfavorable conditions so let's see if it is going to persevere and intensify or if it is going to succumb to these uh, unfavorable conditions and dissipate over the next couple of days all right and so what are the ensemble tracks showing for uh, the next several days so let us go ahead and start off with the euro tracks and so uh, we're going to tomorrow by Tuesday and uh, we're seeing that we have these various members picking up on this system we have them also picking up on that wave expected to emerge off Africa but not showing anything significant become of it yet but yet another wave is going to be emerging and we see that as for 91L they're showing that it is going to be making that general northwestward track and then making a curve and we're seeing this dark blue shade that dark blue indicates tropical storm force winds which is 40 knots and uh we see some of these members showing that we're going to be having more intensification of the system once it makes its way uh, more into the vicinity of the Bahamas and make that curve uh, likely evading all of that dry air that is out there. So maybe more favorable conditions will be out there. Uh, ocean temperatures are definitely there, uh, but we just need that favorable shear as well as that moist environment. And we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening during the next couple of days uh, for the system, as I said, but it does have that uh, unfavorable environment of ahead for it and then as for the gfs ensemble members uh we're seeing here that they are picking up on these on both of these systems uh some members are expecting development of that wave as soon as it is going to be emerging off africa but as for 91l we don't see a lot of members really expecting that we're going to be seeing uh imminent development of the system into a tropical cyclone which is what I think is going to be happening with it. So I don't think that we're going to be seeing this developing very rapidly during the next couple of days, but maybe when it makes its way into more favorable conditions, uh, we will see some more intensification. And as for the Caribbean, uh, the model is picking up on that little low pressure area developing and maybe we see something become of it. But if it is interacting a lot with the Central American countries, then we won't see much intensification because land interaction is an inhibiting factor of tropical cyclone development and so guys we'll have to wait and see what is going to be happening during the next couple of days as i said but maybe we're going to be seeing tropical storm danielle this week if 91l perseveres through the uh unfavorable environment that is up ahead for it but you could see this become a depression by the midweek but of course only time will tell and i will keep you guys updated on what is going on out there as time goes by and so that is really it for this update video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be with wise